long past the shadows of the Sunshine State. Thank you so much, Florida. You're the best. And the cornfields of Iowa. Hello, Iowa! Is another required campaign stop for any U.S. presidential candidate. I continue to say that uh, Jerusalem will be the capital of Israel. Here's then candidate Obama in Israel in 2008 and many others before him. Mitt Romney's visit comes just days after he slammed President Obama for his lack of loyalty to Israel. The people of Israel deserve better than what they receive from the leader of the free world. And the chorus and the chorus of accusations and threats and insults at the United Nations should never again include the voice of the President of the United States. Many say the heart of this matter lies with two important constituencies. The two constituencies are the Christian fundamentalists, particularly those in the Republican Party, and a certain percentage of Jewish Americans, those who are wealthy donors to both parties. Wealthy donors like casino mogul Sheldon Adelson, who recently made a $10 million donation to Romney's super PAC Restore Our Future, the largest gift yet, according to Forbes magazine. Adelson has said his top priority is supporting and protecting Israel. Money also flows generously from the American Israel Public Affairs Committee, or APAC, one of the wealthiest and most influential lobbying groups in Washington. It has helped keep Israel a top priority in the eyes of most lawmakers. It's important that Mitt Romney go to Israel, particularly since these are the most uh, very dangerous times. As you know, the talks with Iran <laughs> predictably have failed. Iran, one of many concerns associated with Israel, as well as its future borders, which the president spoke about last year. We believe the borders of Israel and Palestine should be based on the 1967 lines with mutually agreed swaps. An idea criticized heavily by members of both parties, Romney among them. Just before Bibi Netanyahu came to the United States, he threw Israel under the best bus, trying to negotiate for Israel. Typically, the Jewish American vote has leaned heavily to the left. In 2008, Obama got 79 percent of it, and McCain, 21 percent. It just goes to show that the issue of Israel itself is not a partisan one, and over time has come to be a place that both sides agree is a mandatory stop on the campaign trail. In Washington, Christine Frizzau, RT.